Experimental probability example one, using relative frequency as an estimate of probability. Here, there has been information collected about cars passing the school gate and the colors of each car. How many cars did Dara survey, we've been asked. Well, if we count out the frequency of each car, we see that it totals to 100. So Dara must have surveyed 100 cars to get this total. In part two, we're asked what was the relative frequency of the blue cars? Well, the frequency of the blue cars was 16. Relative frequency means relative to all the other cars. We know that 16 out of the 100 cars were blue. So the relative frequency of the blue cars is 16 out of 100. This is 16%, or you could call it 4 out of 25. Next, we're being asked what the relative frequency of the red cars were. We see that there were 32 red cars. So the relative frequency of red cars is 32 out of 100, or 32%. We were asked to express it as a decimal, though, so it's 0 0.32. Next, we're being asked to write down an estimate of the probability that the next car passing the school gate will be green. So the probability of green well, the best guess that we could make about this is to use the relative frequency as an estimate of the probability. The relative frequency of green is 10 cars out of every 100. So 10 out of 100 or 1 in 10 is our best guess at the probability. The last question is, how could we make the estimate for probability more reliable? Well, if we did the experiment more times, if we had more observations, Dara just surveyed 100 cars in this, but if she had surveyed 1,000 cars or 10,000 cars, we'd expect it to be more reliable.